Here's another common example that uh, you may see when talking about correlation. Um, here's a question. It says, a study found that the correlation between family income and property value to be R equals 0.856. What would you predict about the property value if the family income were 2.5 standard deviations above the mean? So here's our key numbers here. We know that our correlation is this, and we're trying to figure out what would happen, what would you predict about the family income if, or I'm sorry, what would you predict about property value if the family income were 2.5 standard deviations above the mean, above being a key word right there as well. Well, since R is based on z-scores, and since correlation doesn't change whether you're going to flip-flop your uh, explanatory and response variables, when you see something like this, all you really have to do is take your correlation, 0.856, and multiply that times the number of standard deviations that the one variable, uh, the number of standard deviations away from the mean that you're concerned with for the first variable. So what would you predict about the property value if the family income were 2.5 standard deviations above the mean? Well, if I take 0.856 times 2.5, that gives me 2.14. So this right here is 2.14. So now I would say, when talking about the family income, I could say something like this. I can expect the family income to be 2.14 standard deviations above the mean. Okay, And this is all talking about standard deviations above the mean of its particular variable. Okay? You gotta think about this as, you know, R, our correlation comes from standard deviation, so that's why we're looking at and analyzing standard deviation here. And you also got to think that R is used to find the slope. So as one changes, the other one changes, and standard deviation is a is a ratio uh, when you're dealing with R. So this is how you would work out this type of problem.